So once you're on OBS, you want to click on settings. Then you want to click on output and then set the output mode to advanced. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, then select NVIDIA NVENC. Then you want to set your rate control to CBR. Set your bitrate to 4000 and then set your keyframe interview to 2. Then you want to head over to the video tab. And then you want to set your downscale filter to sharpen scaling 32 samples. Then you want to click on advanced. And then you want to set your process priority to above normal. Now these are the best baseline settings. Now for all the other settings, these are personal preference, so you can switch them to how you like. Now for the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on CPU, which will set all the applications that take up the most CPU to appear on top. You want to close them if you're not using them. The way to do that is by clicking on it and then click on end task. Then you want to head over to the startup apps tab. And then you want to close all the apps so you don't want to start when your computer turns on. The way to do that is by clicking on it and then click on disable and then the status will change to disabled. Then you want to click on details and you want to scroll down until you find Streamlabs OBS. You want to right click on it and then click on set priority and then make it high. Now you want to restart Streamlabs OBS and then start streaming again and your CPU usage will be lowered.